So, Dave, we're here at the CCA yes. workbench, and we you know, rigs and techniques yeah. certainly are well, something that can be a challenge. I've got a lot. I've got a list, so I'd like to go down the list. Otherwise, I'm going to forget stuff like I normally do. First <laughs> off, first off, you know, we want to make sure that when you're taking a kid fishing, especially in a boat, you want to make sure you want to obey all the boating safety laws. I mean, every kid under 13 should have a life jacket on all the time, even when the boat's sitting still. Now, that being said, you know, a lot of times back in the day when we put a life jacket on a kid, we, we put these things on them and expect them to hang around all day and fish with us. And I'll tell you what, if you're wearing one of them old style ones, you wouldn't want to be fishing with that thing on for very long either. No. So the best thing to do is to get a vest style, something that feels a little better on them. They make a lot of them that are a lot more comfortable than the than the, the cheapest ones you can buy. Uh, you know, a vest style like this like for a ski style or even, you know, the more expensive CO2 two uh, wearable ones that you know you don't even know they're on but right. either way you want something that they're going to want to wear and be comfortable in because you know the kid's got a short enough ex uh, attention span as it is if he's uncomfortable it's going to make it even worse um, so that's another thing you want to limit the time if you go early in the morning and say fish for an hour you know you stay you stay in the out of the sun and everything if you do the same thing in the afternoon it, it puts an end time on it because you're going to come up to the dark you know and it's always a good good thing to have a time limit set when you've got the kids That's because good, nice. you know if you're over 45 minutes or so sometimes they start going crazy and you know limit the time don't make them do stuff they don't want to do uh two kids is better than one kid if you got two or three it's hard to have a sword fight when you only got one sword you know, there's only one kid. So if you've got two kids, they can have more fun together. Again, they can they can play together, and it makes it a lot more fun for them. You know, they, they don't, you know, dad's fun, but having a lot of other kids around is a lot more fun for them, I'll tell you. Um, bring plenty of snacks and drinks and stuff. You know, you, got, you want to keep them hydrated, and, and, you know, food's always a good way to keep any kid happy. And, and because we're going to be out in the sun most of the time, make sure you have some good sunscreen and mosquito uh, repellent, uh, or get any time you get, you know, two yeah, in one. you can get the sunscreen, sunscreen and, and no burn. Right. Um, you know, the, the last fellow was talking about trying to make sure you get some success. That's exactly true. You don't want to go out there and sit and have to be waiting for a bite. You want to take them to a park or a boat ramp or someplace where you know there's a bunch of little brim or crappie around that you know you're not going to have to go find and fish. And you come, you bring you a big loaf of bread and you chum them up and you throw some fish bites out there because I tell you, fish bites, the bread ball, a little dough bread ball is a great thing to use and if you don't, you don't have any fish bites go ahead and ball up your bread and make a bread ball but those little fish bites do not come off man once you cut those little squares of fish bites and you can get the white ones they look just like bread and once you put one of those on there that's the last one you'll put on you'll catch 15 20 fish on that one little piece yeah. bing 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 and the bing. same thing applies whether you you know if you're out catching pinfish correct you can do it with a sabiki if you use the fish bites to tip them with right it works very well you'll catch that many more right. i used to do that with my boys all the time mm -hmm. it worked really use well use the little tiny gold hooks an aberdeen style Aberdeen style hooks have a long shank on them and that yeah. allows you to get the, 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 the hook out of a little bait, especially when they swallow it. That long shank gives you a, a good chance. It keeps them from swallowing it most of the time, but it also allows you to get it out. Um, <coughs> I used you, to let Ridge and Colin play in the live well too. No, because they love to. The they deal. love to touch the fish. You yeah. know, that's a Crab, that's a thing. Shrimp. Don't make them touch the fish if they don't want to touch the fish, because you know you don't want to turn them off. You know, some kids are squeamish. Um, <laughs> you know, match the size of the gear to the kid. You know, you don't want to hand a little kid a big old you know, big spinning reel or something. It's right. always best to start off with these little spin casters. I tell you what, when you're button. a little seven, eight year old kid and you get good at casting that spin caster, a spinning, uh, a spinning rod or a bait caster comes really easy to you. And, and you gotta remember that not, you know, I've got three kids and every one of them was different as far as how well they could use equipment and, and, and how they got to they get their hand-eye coordination going. So every kid is different. So you, you're, you know your kid and you know what he can handle, but you know, just make sure you try to match it up and don't get them frustrated. Uh, 
when you're picking lures and stuff for them, try to pick things that they don't have to do much. They throw it out reel and it reel it back. And Can the gold spoon, the gold spoon, you can win tournaments with the gold spoon. Uh -huh. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is throw it out and reel it back. And it's the same with all the other lures. You know, try to pick paddle tails and stuff like that. They don't have to That's do anything. That's some good advice from the dad. And Who my knows? kids don't yes. like to go fishing with me. That's the crap that was of it. great. I'll go dad fishing advice, with Dave. you. I'll go fishing with you, Dave.